And then Mike Tyson, you and Mike Tyson was going to beat up somebody. Well, that's an illa story. Um, you know, Big Pun was crazy. Rest in peace. Like, he was like a wild boy. So we did a show. We had 50 guys with us. He tells me, yo, send them all home. Let's go to the tunnel, just me and you. Now, the tunnel was a club in New York where you, you couldn't be in there if you wasn't dangerous. Right. This was... Two bullet minimum, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. two bullet minimum. And it was the wildest spot New York <laughs> had ever seen, right? Their bouncers make you look like a baby. <laughs> these guys would jump off the roof like these was Transformers, right? Right. Ninja Turtles. So we get there and they tell him, Pun, this is Pun at his prime. He's sold two million records. They tell him he got to take his boots off. Mm -mm. Now, I just told you Pun was like 580 pounds. Right. He couldn't really take his boots off like that. So he was like, nah. But in there, people used to sneak in knives exactly. and guns mm -hmm. and they shit. So they was like, nah, you got to take it off. So it's like 10 security. So Pun is arguing with this one dude. Then it turns to two dudes. Then it turns to three dudes. Then it turns to four dudes. And I'm arguing back with them too. Mm -hmm. So I'm with Pun like, <clears throat> so they say something. I'm like, fuck you. And Pun's saying, fuck your mother. Like, it's just nasty work. So I grab, because I'm always realistic. I grab Pun at one time, and I say, yo, Pun, you know we getting our ass whooped in here. Like, these motherfuckers was huge. He said, yo, we got straps in the car. I said, we ain't getting to the car, Pun. Like, <laughs> these guys is big motherfuckers, right? So Pun was like, fuck you, suck my... He wanted it, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck him. We I know how to catch an ass whooping. You know, <laughs> you got to give a guy credit for knowing how to take your ass whooping. Right. You know, staying with your man and get your ass whipped. That's right. that's another level. Oh yeah, <laughs> like to get your ass whipped with your man. That's that's honorable thing, right. right? So I'm like, okay, we getting fucked up, right? <laughs> so we just gonna talk all the shit we want. So now, out of the ten, it's like eight of them, right? And out of nowhere, you hear a voice like, "Yo, pun, yo, Joe, fuck these niggas." We turn around. It's Iron Mike Tyson. This is like two in the morning with the fucking kufi on, he had a suit on, and he starts taking off his Gucci loafers. Fuck these niggas, we'll fuck them up, pun. This, this, that, boom. Next thing you know, Mike Tyson, the main one that started, Mike Tyson starts chasing him around the car, trying to fuck him up barefoot. <laughs> and the security looks at me, Joe, Joe, stop him, Joe, stop him. They ain't want the man's with that. No, Mike Tyson might have came out of jail one week. Yeah. Like this was him fresh out of jail. Right out. Right out of Indiana with the Kofi Muslim right. Mike Tyson. Man, that shit was crazy. You surprised Ash Ashante and Nelly at a baby shower. Yeah. You and Nashanti go way back. Y'all been cool for the longest. And mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, I think Irv had something to say about you because he kept going back and forth talking about, you know, her. That was 20, 30 years ago. And you like, bro, let it go, blah, blah, blah. She's done moved on, so forth and so on. What has Ashanti meant to Joe? Man, she's been there for me, bro, for over 20 something years. Irv been there for me too. So, um, you know, looking back at the story, I think I should have just not went on Instagram and called them like a brother on the phone and mm -hmm. just been like, yo, my man, you wildin' out. Right. Right? But with that, Irv got his, you know, he is who he is and he thinks of the world a different way than I do. Um, I said sorry to him a million times and his family. His family loves me. I hang out with his brothers and sisters all the time, his nieces. But, you know, he still got an attitude with me. But Ashanti, she's been my sister through thick and thin. I don't know how to explain it to you. And um, I'm proud of her. I've seen her baby. Her baby's so beautiful. Her baby is, he might be the most beautiful baby in the world. <laughs> I swear to God, he got hair. Wait till they show the baby. Right. The Nelly Ashanti <laughs> baby is a movie. This guy's, he look like Muhammad Ali, beautiful. Head full of hair, huh? Oh, this baby's amazing. And so I'm proud of her. Her family, she's always been a sister. Same with Remy. That's my sister. I got them both to the day I die. You know what I'm saying? That And and I, and that's just that. I love them both as my sisters, and I'm going to hold them down to the day I die. J-Lo. Same the there. Right. J-Lo holds me down. Right. You know what I'm saying? So J-Lo's a boss. Yeah. Like J-Lo's on, you know, she's on another level. Right. And uh, that's my sister, too. You know, I love J-Lo um, to death. You know, 
And I'm just proud of everything she's done. I'm going to get you out of here on this one. The females seem to have gotten into the rap beat. I can't explain it. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can because you come from that environment, you're in that culture, mm-hmm. and you see it. Mm-hmm. But when you see, like, I'm like, what are y'all, what are y'all beefing for? We went through a time of hip hop recently in the last two, three years where the women, you you asked me if Atlanta run hip hop, the women run hip hop. Okay. And they all start, and they got so tough. They, so think of one of the greatest records in the world was doing it and doing it well, yeah. LL, right? Yeah. And he's like, you know, do you like it soft and wet? How you, you know, he right. talking to the women, she talking back. They, they start making new love songs with the female rappers, when she like, put your gun on the motherfucking holster, bitch, you fuck me like I, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going, I'm like, is this a love song? Am I lying or not? You, you fuck me, you who pissed with me while you hitting, nigga, I'll kill you. I, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on with the women? Right. And, uh, but, you know, I'm one guy that I'm, I'm, I'm for the women's rights. I'm for the women to do whatever they want to do, how they want to make the music. Uh, if it's lyrics, same thing as guys, you know, a good rap battle is a good rap battle. Um, if it doesn't become physical, because everybody got brothers, mm-hmm. everybody got husbands mm-hmm. or boyfriends that think they tough. This, You know, this business of hip hop, you don't need a PhD or a master. You need a fucking paperwork that says you did 10 years in jail <laughs> and, and now you're hired. You did a bid, huh? You got a, you got a bunch of crazy dudes with everybody in this motherfucker, you know, and if they influence you, they could fuck your whole shit up. Mm. So once again, I think the biggest part of this whole interview with me and you is if you're an artist and you out there and you changing your life, check your crew and make sure they don't bring you down because it's not going to be you. You trying to become the biggest artist in the game. You trying to become the next 50 Cent Jay-Z. You trying to this. If your crew don't share the same vision and they ready to throw it all away and say, yo, fuck that. We the realest in this and this. That ain't what you got in the game for. I read M wanted you to sign it. Yeah. Yeah, Eminem, he gave me his demo like six times. What? Yeah, I fucked up big time. Yeah, you. Biggest mistake in hip hop history, Fat Joe, not signing Eminem. Uh, of course, you know, now I look up to him. You know what I'm saying? So that was a big mistake. I could have signed Pitbull. I could have signed Ross. I could have signed. Damn, Joe, you slipping. Yeah, I slipped. I slipped. I could have signed a lot of guys in the game that I was just like, probably wasn't ready at the time or wasn't focused like I should be, you know, because I'm an artist too. So at the at the same time, I might have been in artist mode, you know, thinking creatively and right. thinking about my career. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.